Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Antonin Januska and today I will be making another video for my How I Work series and I'll be covering the tool Notepad++. Let me actually zoom in here on the Wikipedia. So Notepad++ is a really interesting tool in that um, it's not super complicated. It, you wouldn't use it as a dedicated tool instead of uh, other tools. So for example, you can use this as an IDE or a code editor, but you wouldn't use it as a dedicated code ed editor. You can use it as a text editor, but you wouldn't use it as a dedicated text editor. It's just a really cool utility that I truly wish existed cross-platform on every single machine pre-installed by default, to be honest. Like, I am not kidding about that. Um, it is very tuned to work on Windows really, you know, really well and, and be very fast. And if you read through the history, you'll see that it was built specifically for Windows. And that's kind of the interesting part about it. Um, it is very speedy. It doesn't crash. It is so powerful with a very small uh, memory footprint. So let's go ahead and launch it real quick. I have this neat little launcher that I'm probably going to go over at some point called Hain. And it works just like a launcher, just like I guess the Finder or whatever it is in uh, Mac OS. It works like so many other tools. It works like Rofi, if I think that's what it's called. Um, it works works just like Rofi for Linux. So let's go ahead and open Notepad Plus Plus real quick. And I do have it in the taskbar, but the taskbar is hidden by all the fancy cool stuff um, that I have at the bottom of the video. So let's open it, and it's up. Um, so that was like a really fast launch. It's probably like as fast as, <laughs> maybe it didn't seem like it to you, but if you try to open VS Code, if you try to open pretty much anything else other than plain Notepad, and let's go ahead and see if, whoops, that was my other launcher. Let's go ahead and see if if uh, plain, what am I doing? There we go. Let's go ahead and see if plain Notepad opens as quickly. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's a very, it's a very close in speed. So first you have this amazing speed of open and close, right? Then you have the cool fact that this doesn't take a lot of memory or system usage. We have it right here. It's 10.4 megabytes. You can see I have a ton of other stuff running, but this takes up 10.4 megabytes. And I actually have five files open by default uh, from the get-go. So the first thing is, it has tabs by default, which means that you can actually drag and drop files onto this task pane to open them. Nice. You can move them around. You can do split uh, split view, right? So this is this is here, and it doesn't it doesn't split it by default, but you can do the move to the other view. Uh, you can have a different level of zoom on, you know, different customization. I'm not sure what's going on with my keyboard today, but I'm having a little bit of issues with my typing here. There we go. So you can you can definitely have like a different type of zoom on every single file and other really neat features. Oh, looks like it's actually the same view, but if you move it to the right, it'll actually be different. So that's nice. The other thing that's pretty cool is that it, it auto saves any changes um, into like a temporary memory. So let's go ahead and just say, hi, I enjoy this, whoops, enjoy this video. Um, if you close out Notepad++ and then you run it again, it'll pick up where you left off. So you'll actually see that all of these are, files are new and I have not saved a single one of them. And this is, this is a part of what goes into why this tool is so powerful for me. So before I get into like the workflow that I use with it, let me look, go over some of the features here. So first of all, you saw that, you know, you can, you can, uh, it auto saves changes. You could actually do this with a, another file. And then it's, this is gonna bite me in the ass if I mess this up. Yeah, so it changed, it changed the changes that you had on the file. And you can see that it's red. If, if I press control S, it'll, um, it will save it. I don't want to do that. It doesn't pre preserve the the um, the what is it called the undo memory, but 
yeah, you just have to get used to that. <laughs> There's not, nothing you can do about that. But it's really cool that you can, you just double click and it creates a brand new file and you can create notes this way in a really easy way. Um, I use this for writing daily notes of what I'm gonna do. So next, let's go ahead and let, go through this. So one of the things about the performance of this is the fact that I, I, at one point I opened a million row CSV in here and I was able to scroll through it, search through it, and do all kinds of stuff without my computer freezing up, without there being any issues. Um, VS Code ran out of memory and shut down. Uh, LibreOffice ran out of memory and shut down. Excel, I believe, can handle this, but I needed to do some, um, it, it was like malformatted, so I needed to actually open it in a text editor to edit it. So it could handle large large huge files like this is the vim of windows right like vim you can use vim to open enormous files edit enormous files and have this amazing performance this is it but for windows next thing i want to point out is so you can do like these crazy search and replaces um there's a lot of like advanced features here you can bookmark that sounds familiar right um, you can do, you know, auto completion. You can do all these different things with it. You can view it in a million different ways. You can zoom in. You can show white space end of line. Like this, this is a, like the Swiss Army of text editors of any kind, right? Um, and it's just, it's just amazing. And it also has like uh, plugins. You can set up projects. So you could actually use this as an IDE. Uh, it comes out with a huge variety of. Um, syntax highlighting support. You got JavaScript, JSON. You got Haskell, which is why I don't even know C, C sharp, C plus plus, CSS, Objective C. You know, I it doesn't have TypeScript. Sorry, but you know, you're gonna have to just deal with that. Uh, it has Visual Basics, XML, YAML. Um, you can do a user defined language. I have, I believe, the Markdown is a plugin. Let me go see. Yeah, I think that's a plugin. So I actually had to install that one. And you can define your own languages and structures so you can do syntax highlighting on here. Uh, you got all kinds of style configurators and you know you can really customize this entire um, editor. And look at this, you can even do customization on the coloring um, on uh, any of the languages. Um, Again, Markdown isn't here, interestingly enough. The next thing you can do, you have all kinds of tools here. You can generate MD5 and SHA-256 of whatever you're doing. You can create macros. You can run and open this file. It'll, like You can save it and run it in all of these different editors. And let me go look at the plugins admin. The plugins are pretty ex extensive of what you can do. I have a spell check, so you might have actually noticed this, but if I try to write, let's see, uh, recognize, that sounds like a difficult word. I say this and then it doesn't work. Um, it is something that usually does work, and I, may, I think it's maybe because I'm on OBS, I just used it like a few minutes ago. There are a million different plugins that allow you to do all kinds of different stuff. For example, preview markdown, preview markdown a different you know plugin um, there's a music player that so you can play music <laughs> um, there's a million different things here that you can do with it uh, a million different you know uh, plugins one of the ones that I wanted to look for was uh, what is that one language that allows you to write HTML real quick let me look that up real quick Emmet. I don't even need to look it up. Let's see if Emmet's here. Emmet's not here. But there is support for editor config, which is nice. I'm actually going to install that one. Uh, all right. Got to see. You get to see some fun stuff live. Um, what did I just install? Oh yeah, editor config. So now I have I have support for editor config. Um, we have the spell check that I was talking about. So it, it does like auto completion on a re, uh, regular real words. Uh, next, I wanted to show you the fact that because it's Windows, it implements so much cool Windows stuff like right click support for edit with notepad. Yep, and you can actually do this even on files that require uh, admin permissions and it'll just um, try to open notepad++ in admin um, 
with administrative rights. I don't believe there is a way to reload it from within, which kind of sucks, and that is something that I, I wish was there. But, you know, it's not a big deal. It's not that big of a deal. Um, you can open... I guess it's not here. I, I believe that's... Is it? Is that it? There we go. So you can, like, open entire workspaces, create workspaces. Like, imagine having the full ability of, like, VS Code, basically, but in this super fast, tiny editor. Um, I've never tried to edit code on here for work. I usually use it for quick edits. Um, like, a lot of people use Vim, right? Like, you know, quickly editing a host file. Um, so you can redirect uh, some domain to localhost or whatever, or quickly editing a config or whatever it is. And the cool thing is, like, because Notepad++ has so much um, extensive support for so many different languages and so many plugins, you're probably not going to run into a language that looks horrible with syntax highlighting. Um, I believe there are themes. I never really cared for it. I just enjoy making these, like, small files here. And yeah, let me go ahead and go into the workflow. So one of the things that I did do is just at the be beginning of the day, I write out a few tasks that I need to get done for work. Check email, respond to client, and uh, let's see, what else can we do today? Um, review code by colleague. Review, oh. Yeah, there we go. Finally, it's coming up. Send review to colleague. There we go. We can go ahead and do that. And so this is actually how I write down my to-dos for the day. <clears throat> There's so many apps and so many awesome, like, cool tools. Like, I use Emacs for um, to-do tracking and, like, as a general notebook i use todoist for my to-dos for shopping list as well but notepad plus plus just has this um instant satisfaction to wanting to write down a to-do or a note like if you need to quickly copy paste the note somewhere if you need to um save some line that somebody sent you you can put it here if you have a command that you just ran and you're like oh, man i don't want to look it up in the history let me just put it down like it's just it's a awesome place to dump things basically and uh, because of its speed, and I think that is really why it's such a big deal um, to me, is, is, is the speed. Because of its speed, it doesn't interrupt you in what you need to do with your work. Like, it's really easy to tab back into. It's really easy to, you know, double click and create a new file. And then you can just go ahead and paste whatever you want, right? There, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that there. Let me go ahead and pick language. Let's just say it's JavaScript, all right? Close enough. I think, let's see what language this is. Yeah, it's, it's set, set as JavaScript. It's just really easy to do quick actions here. Um, and again, you don't even need to save your files. You just open a new one. I, I don't know. That's I think that's my whole walkthrough of Notepad++. It's just like, I can do these amazing quick edits. I can look at recent files and try to open them. I can open huge files without a, um, a penalty to speed, right? Like, it, the, this application is just amazingly performant. And there's a million tools that I don't even know what they are. What is this? A function list? I don't even know what that means, right? Like, um, you know, it can analyze your code and do all kinds of stuff. So it's just, I uh, highly recommend... Oh, God, really? You can monitor a file so you can tail a file you can open a folder as a workspace document map what i don't even oh wow yeah okay so i don't even know about half of these features because this it's just uh you know it's it's amazing and especially look at these the crlf right like those are line endings and uh this is able to display it for you so you can easily understand what's going on Be i mean this becomes an issue sometimes and i always have to look up how to display these special characters in VS Code, but in Notepad++, it's one click away, right? Um, and, God, you can define your own language. I don't even understand what that means. Anyways, so I highly recommend this tool. Just go get it. It's amazing. It is... I, I, I don't know how, how to emphasize enough the... Um, just, how, just how great this tool is. 
how how useful it is, how much of a a tool it is if you're a Windows developer. And I like it so much that I ended up installing Notepad QQ. So Notepad QQ is Notepad QQ is a Linux port of this um, application. Oh no, I don't want to. Do, you'll you'll see that it looks very similar. I I don't want to look at that. It looks very similar. Um, it has similar highlighting, similar tab structure, and it it has some you know obviously nice things here like the different themes so if you're on linux and you don't want to run wine which i run this through wine i do run this on linux through wine but i found notepad qq recently and uh it has some great features oh god column select i forgot about that how do you do that again i don't know how to do it i know it's possible i did it like a, a few days ago i just don't remember how i did it was it like a plus control maybe shift I don't know. Alt? Alt. It's probably Alt. Nope, that wasn't Alt. There's Alt. There we go. So you can do column select. Oh my god, just, I love this application so much. Ah, oh, yeah. Anyway, so you can check out Notepad QQ if you want something that's a little bit different. It says it has first class support for math. I don't know how well Notepad++ deals with math math. Um, the, the main thing about Notepad QQ is that I don't know how often it's updated. I see five months ago, four months ago was the last one, but it's so stable that I don't even know if it needs that much updating. Um, anyways, th that's it for my video today. I really recommend you give Notepad++ a shot if you're on Windows. Like seriously, install it, get that right-click functionality there, and you'll see yourself using it all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll see yourself using it all the time to edit small files and config files and things whenever you're not coding. So, yeah, go check it out and go check out their web their website. It's a it's a nice website. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Until next time.